Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jacqueline, the Unimportant Homemaker, and today, let's talk about marriage. One question I've been asking myself lately is, why do I share these kinds of stories with you guys? Um, I guess it's because you guys see me at a very unique point in my life where it seems like I have a lot of things going right for me, but... I want to be completely transparent and let you guys know of situations that I have been through in my marriage that I completely took in the wrong way or misunderstood and I caused a lot of problems. These things were real for me. In no way am I seeking to glorify arguing with my husband or disagreeing with him. Um, and I hope it doesn't come across that way. I just find that I learn I learn best when I have examples. I'm always asking my husband when he's trying to explain something to me is give me an example of what you mean by that. I tend to see things in situational stories. This is my attempt to inform you that I always choose <laughs> the wrong way to do things. Um, not always. This is my attempt to let you guys know that I very often choose the sinful way in my marriage. Having a God-honoring marriage is extremely important to me, and I'm sure it is important to a lot of you guys as well. Um, we want to get better at this. We want to honor the Lord by our submission, by our obedience, by our gentle spirit. We want to honor Him in that way. And so I just want to show you guys um, situational examples of when I got it wrong, what I learned by getting it wrong, and my plan for the future, how to go about doing better in this regard. And so I just like to share these things with you guys. Um, yet another story time when I learned something. Every time I get into an argument with my husband, I, I spend time during that silence, <laughs> during that silence of figuring out what just happened and how did we end up here? What was my part in it? Yeah, okay, here's the story. My husband showed me a clip once of two men arguing. One man made a claim, and when asked by the other man to verify the claim, the original man refused and told him to leave him alone. The questioner refused, and they began arguing. The original guy finally threatened to kill the questioner if he didn't leave him alone. Guess what Brandon and I did after discussing that clip? We argued. How the heck did I end up in the hot seat? I was so angry. We had a difference of opinion and we got upset at each other. I felt that I wouldn't submit to someone's demands, and he felt he had no problem backing up his claim if confronted. Look at how simple it sounds as I'm saying it, but you know it was not this simple. There were words spoken, names called by me, of course, because you guys remember my original nature is to act like an idiot. The argument was that I disagreed with him, and then he accused me of always disagreeing with him. It's the accusations that inflame me the most. A majority of our arguments are about this exact thing. I swear, I want so bad to not look like the crazy person yelling and throwing a tantrum, but alas, it seems that this is my true lot in life. Now, the world has told me you know, when I was Google searching how to deal with a strong man who always wants his way, they said his behavior is extremely abnormal, that he'll turn abusive, that I need to leave him, that I have to make him respect me. He's a chauvinistic man child who doesn't deserve to be treated nicely. Basically, advice I cannot use. First, because I am a believer and I do not have free reign to divorce just because I feel like it. And second, I was looking for help not to become a single woman. That's just adding more problems. And third, that's just stupid advice. <laughs> so I just sat and thought about it for like 20 or so minutes. I realized that I always share my opinion. Not that that's wrong or anything, but this wasn't a discussion to share my opinion. He just wanted to share something with me. I saw the two men arguing. It overwhelmed me because I don't really enjoy watching people acting up. And I talked about how stupid this whole thing was. <sighs> I think my husband just wanted to show that it's dumb to lie in case someone asks you to prove yourself, which is right. I agree with that. 
and that he doesn't lie for that very reason. He is willing to be tested. I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and say my piece here to you guys because I need to be transparent about what I did next. Anyway, I thought it was weak for a man to demand another man let him test him. Like who comes up to someone and be like, I want to do something to you and you have to let me or I won't leave you alone even if you threaten me. That's weak, yo. So I said all of this and I told my husband that he was basically submitting. Yes, I really used this exact word in my argument. Ugh. I fulfilled every desire of my flesh in that moment. By this point, my husband was done, but I was still carrying on under my breath. And worse still, we were starting a family movie night and ended up just sending Haley to her room because it just all hit the fan. Anyone else find themselves in this situation or am I the only one? Did I have to say my piece? Probably not. Did it mean I was disagreeing with him? Maybe. I, I really, I still don't know. Did it mean I always disagree with him? Well, if every interaction is like this, and it usually is, then maybe, maybe. What is going on here? I don't think I've ever learned how to say Oh, that's interesting. Or, I get it. That makes sense. And not add in what I think. Why is it so hard for me to keep my opinion to myself with my husband, but not with everyone else? I always keep my thoughts to myself with other people. I never jump in and say my piece. I never call them names when I think they're acting stupid. I never yell or act unbecomingly at all. But if it's my husband, I do all of those things. Maybe it's over familiarity that I'm taking advantage of. I mean, he's my husband, but he's also my friend, right? Maybe I really do love to argue as he always accuses me. <laughs> I don't know. But I am not choosing the path of peace when I behave this way. And that is not the way of a Christian woman. I am hopeful that I will learn to do differently in the future. This is very much an area for me where my husband and I have had many, many discussions about it. And so now I'm letting you guys know that this is one area in my marriage where I'm going to put a laser focus on keeping my opinion to myself. Sometimes people just want to say their piece, share something with me. Uh, not people, my husband. It's not people, it's him. He should be free to share his things with me without me getting upset and insulting him and acting like a silly, sinful woman. So I am going to be laser focusing on this. This is my goal. My mission in bettering myself in my marriage is to walk the path of peace and to practice what I preach. I always talk about, you know, acting like I'm ruled by the Holy Spirit, being ruled by the Holy Spirit. I need to act like it more often. Instead of throwing a hissy fit like I always seem to do. Anyway, tell me, how did you guys learn to keep your different opinions to yourself when disagreeing with your husband? And your advice better work for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Let me know down below in the comment section. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.